Hi there, I'm Stefan Holt, and this is News 4 Now for Thursday, February the 6th, uh, which has been pretty dreary weather-wise. Not much changing tomorrow. Unfortunately, we've got some rain and high winds on the way. Our high temperatures will be in the 60s. Turning out to the news and an immigration raid that ended violently in Brooklyn. Authorities confirm an ICE agent shot a man in the face while trying to detain another person. Didn't even hesitate, but my brother didn't have no weapons, no nothing. And they just shot him, shot him right here on the cheek. Eric Diaz is the name of the man shot this morning while agents were trying to hunt down his mom's boyfriend. His name is Gaspar Amendano Hernandez, and I say he was in the country without authorization. He was arrested earlier this week for allegedly driving with a fake license plate. But ICE says the NYPD released him before they could get a detainer. A fight broke out during the raid, and that's when Diaz was shot. He's now in the hospital, but is expected to pull through. Avendano Hernandez was detained a short time later. An ICE agent was also hurt. There are also calls to investigate the Department of Homeland Security tonight. That's after it announced the suspension of global entry for New Yorkers. Acting Homeland Security Chief Chad Wolf said they're doing this because of the state's new green light law, which lets residents apply for a driver's license regardless of immigration status. Wolf says the law keeps them from making sure travelers are eligible for the program and others like it. But Governor Cuomo said that global entry has nothing to do with the state. This is a big headline for anybody on the hunt for an apartment. Broker fees are now banned in the state of New York. Yeah, you heard that right. Revised state guidelines say that broker's fees must be paid by the landlord and not by a prospective tenant. Real estate experts say that's just going to result in higher rents. But the renters we spoke with today say they're thrilled. If you want to move, the broker fee on top of everything else is outrageous. So I'm thrilled that they're having that law. Hey, do you recognize this guy? Police say he held up the Goop Lab store in Manhattan last week. If you don't know what Goop is, that's Gwyneth Paltrow's clean beauty brand. He's accused of going into the store last week and walking out with a purse that's worth approximately $23,000. And finally for us tonight, New York Fashion Week just kicked off, and for the first time ever, L.L. Bean boots were on the runway. Designer Todd Snyder featured the pieces from the 108-year-old brand in his show last night. Snyder updated some of Bean's classic looks by adjusting the fit and playing with patterns and texture. And while we're on the subject, you can hit us with your questions about Fashion Week in the comments below or at NBCNewYork.com. We might just answer them next week on our sister show, Listen Up. Okay, that's going to do it for News 4 Now. Thanks for watching. I'm Stefan Holt. We'll see you tomorrow.